Hey everybody, Tina here with Jones and to Go. And a lot of you already know that we got a new Montana. Well, one of the things that I'm not particularly fond of for the new 2024 model year changes is the kitchen backsplash. So, I did some research and I found a product that I think is going to be absolutely perfect for an RV. So stick around, I'm going to show you. So I kind of had an idea of the look I was going for for a new camper, but I wanted brick. You cannot put brick in an RV, guys. You can't put ceramic tile and grout. It's just not going to hold up. It's not practical. So I found this company called Comedy Gore, and they have this peel and stick tile stuff. Now, it comes in a huge variety of different design choices. So, you know, maybe your thing isn't brick, but they probably have something for you. It's lightweight. It's peel and stick. It has a strong adhesive. It's heat and water resistant. And it's affordable. You know, so, hey, if you don't like it in a year or so, or you want to change out your decor, peel it off and replace it. Look at this stuff. Light as a feather. Peel and stick. How much easier can it get? Okay, so before we get started, I'm going to show you a few things you're going to need for a project like this. So you're going to need something to cut it, obviously, and they recommend like um, scissors or a box cutter. So I got a brand new blade. And I also have this handy rolling tool that I just happened to have from my Cricut, which I think might be coming handy. And I also have this thing. Check this out. Put it on. It's nice cut. Easy peasy, right? And you're going to need some kind of marking tool, pencil, or something, and a smoothing tool. But first of all, the very first thing you need to do is prep your walls. And in our case, we need to remove what's already here. If you have, like, say you want to put it in your house or something, and you have, like, painted surface or something, you're going to want to make sure that's clean and no grease, so use like a degreaser or something like that. So we're gonna get started. Alrighty, that took a minute to get that all prepped up, but now we're ready to put up some tile. First thing I did was I drew my straight line right here because I know that I want my backsplash to end at the end of my cabinet. So this is where I'm going to start, okay? So I took my first piece of tile and I measured and cut for this outlet right here. And I just simply did that with a ruler. You know, mark how far up you need to cut it how far from the straight line that you're starting with over and then just use a um, utility knife to cut that out so we got that first piece now I did not cut off the um, the ends here because my tile is going to continue over this way behind my sink so I will do that later but um Let's go ahead and stick up this first piece of tile. Okay, so as you can see, I stuck up the first couple of pieces. And honestly, it's because I wanted to be confident in what I was telling y'all and make sure I'm giving you accurate information. I've never done this before either, but hey, it was super easy. So I'm going to show you now how to cut the way I've cut anyways. So I simply um, measured and marked my lines and I use my straight ruler here and I have this cutting tool but you can use a utility knife or a pair of scissors but this stuff cuts super easy just line up my straight edge and it's simply that easy
Now I do need to notch out a little piece on this one, so I'm just gonna use some scissors. Let's stick this up. I'll show you just how easy it is. There you go. It really is that simple. Now, you want to do, do want to pay close attention to um, use your smoother on your, on your grout lines where the tiles intersect with each other. But hey, it is so simple. Let's get this project done and see how beautiful it looks. Hey, I'm back. And as you can see, I got it done. I am so thrilled with how it turned out. I want to thank Kama Me Decor for sending me this product to share with you guys because I really do feel like this is a fantastic option for an RV. If you like what you see, follow us here on YouTube, Facebook, and on Instagram. Thanks for watching.